Essential characteristics of a Catholic university are expressed through commitments to the Catholic justice mission. While there is no sanctioned list, Catholic social teachings are the ideals and values that have been disseminated through the papal and other church documents over time. In the late 1800s, the first contemporary teachings of Pope Leo XIII focused on workers' rights, such as those associated with working conditions, wages, unionization, and child labor. In the mid-1900s, attention was heightened on issues of war and peace, as well as global poverty and hunger. While many popes preceding Pope Francis offered calls for ecological care, it was his 2015 encyclical Laudato Si that solidified integral ecology and sustainability as a crucial theme in the rich tradition. I'll describe six major interconnected principles of Catholic social teaching. The first is, so, is human dignity. Human life is sacred, and the dignity of the human person is the foundation of a moral vision for society. This belief is the foundation of all principles of Catholic social teaching, that every person is precious, that people are more important than things, and that the measure of every institution is whether it threatens or enhances the life and dignity of the human person. Another is human rights. Human dignity can be protected, and a healthy community can be achieved only if human rights are protected and responsibilities are met. Therefore, every person has a fundamental right to life and a right to those things required for human decency, including access to steady work and the rights that flow from it. Corresponding to these rights are responsibilities to one another, to our families, and to the larger society. Community and participation. Each and every one of us is not only sacred, but also social. How our society is organized in economics and politics, in law and policy, directly affects human dignity and the capacity of individuals to grow in community. Thus, people have a right and a duty to participate in society, seeking to gather the common good and well-being of all, especially the poor and vulnerable. Solidarity. All people are one family, whatever our national, racial, ethnic, economic, and ideological differences. Loving our neighbor has global dimensions in a shrinking world. So, at the core of the virtue of solidarity is the pursuit of justice and peace. Subsidiarity. All people have the right to participate in matters that affect their lives. Subsidiarity requires that decisions are made by the people closest and most affected by the issues and concerns of the community. Although the concept had been around for centuries, it was Pope Pius XI who emphasized its importance for Catholic social teaching with an encyclical written in 1931, when totalitarian governments were taking power in Europe and centralizing control of political parties, trade unions, youth organizations, and even churches. Pope Francis believes that there is a no true solidarity without subsidiarity. And stewardship of creation. We are called to protect people, including future generations and the planet, living in relationship with all of God's creation. Catholic social teachings have been referred to as a committed call to action and an everyday ministry of compassion, courage, and creativity.